Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we have seen previously what do you mean by the numerical methods in case of heat transfer and the significance of the same. We have also studied about the finite difference method. Now let us apply the finite difference method in case of a steady state heat conduction equations. Now let us apply the FDM method that is the final difference method to steady state heat conduction equation. Now for that let us consider a simple scenario. Let us consider a slab of 5 cm thickness. Let us say the temperature at one side of the slab is 100 degrees Celsius and to the other side the temperature is let us say 25 degrees Celsius. Now make, a, make this 25 degrees Celsius. If this is the scenario and what we are going to do, we are going to express this slab in terms of a small or six nodes. So we are going to express this slab in terms of small nodes. Now each node will indicate the particle of the slab. So let us consider the slabs are kept at a distance h from each other and the value of h is constant everywhere. So in this case the value of h is 1 centimeter. So the two nodes are placed between each other at a distance of 1 centimeter. Let us say, let us, the shaded node is let us say called i node. So the next node is i plus 1 and the previous node is i minus 1. The actual names of each node is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. We know that the T1 in this case is given as 100 degrees Celsius and T6 is 25 degrees Celsius. Now here we are going to apply the finite difference method in this case that is the steady state heat conduction equation and we are going to solve this. We know the equation. What is the equation? The equation is d by dx k dt by dx is equal to 0. Now no need to state the assumption for this. The assumption for this is obviously the heat transfer is only one dimensional that is in the direction of x then the heat transfer is a steady state means the temperature does not depend on the time then there is no heat generation in this case similarly the thermal conductivity can be considered as a constant if these are the cases then the general heat conduction equation can be simplified to this form. Now this can be further simplified by writing this as d square t by dx square equal to 0. Now we can use the FDM method as we had seen. We can write down the FDM method that is the finite difference method for second order differential equation. So what was that? We have seen that f double dash of x can be written as f of x plus h minus 2 of f of x plus f of x minus h upon h square. Now we can use this equation and we can try to express the d square t by dx square. Now this pd even though it is not the partial differential equation since temperature is only a function of x. Now this differential equation can be converted into a difference equation. Now the difference equation is nothing but the algebraic equation that we are using and we will use the FDM method for the same. So let us try and express this. Let us try and apply it for this three node. Then what is T of i, it can be written as the d square t by dx square can be written as t of i minus 1 minus 2 t of i 
प्लस टी ऑफ आई प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाय एच स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो नाउ वी कैन सिंपलीफाई दिस एंड राइट टी ऑफ आई माइनस वन माइनस टू टी ऑफ आई प्लस टी ऑफ आई प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ बेसिकली दिस इज द डिफरेंस इक्वेशन दैट वी आर गेटिंग नाउ वी कैन राइट डाउन फॉर द वेरियस आई वैल्यू Now, if I put the value of i equal to two, let me write down the equation. The equation was t of i minus one minus two of t of i plus t of i plus one is equal to zero. Now, this was the equation. Let us put the value of i equal to two. Then, what we are going to get? This is t one minus two t two plus t three is equal to zero. Similarly, if I put the value of i equal to three, then the equation will become t two minus two t three plus t four is equal to zero. If I keep on doing this, then the equation that we are going to get will be of this kind. so basically we will try to write down the equation for these four node that is 2 3 4 and 5 we cannot write it for 1 and 6 because the i minus 1 for this first node is not known similarly i plus 1 for this node is not known so for the extreme two nodes we cannot apply but for the intermediate node we can simply apply the same equation now we know that t of 1 is given as 100 degree celsius and t of 6 is given as 25 degree celsius now with this thing in our mind we can put this and solve this this is one way the other way is we can form the matrix out of this and then solve this but we have only taken this problem to simplify or to make you understand the finite difference method for steady state heat conduction so let us simplify this equation by simply putting the value of t1 in this equation so what are we going to get we can write down the t3 or we can write down the t2 in terms of t3 so that will be t3 plus 100 divided by 2 so if i substitute the value of t3 in this equation then what we are going to get we can write down this as t3 by 2 plus 50 minus 2 t3 plus t4 is equal to 0 so again if i rearrange the term what am i going to get i can write this as minus 3 by 2 t3 plus t4 Is equal to minus fifty. So this will become my first equation. Similarly, I can put the value of T six as twenty five degrees Celsius, and then I can write down the value of T five as T four plus twenty five divided by two. Again, I will substitute the same equation in this. previously we had did the same for the second one now we will substitute in the third equation so what are we going to get t3 will be as it is minus 2 t4 now instead of t5 i will write down this that is t4 by 2 plus 12.5 so now if i simplify i am going to get t3 this can be simplified as minus 3 by 2 t4 is equal to 10.5 now if i solve this two equation in the calc i will end up getting the value of t3 and t4 as 70 degrees celsius and 55 degrees celsius similarly if i put the value of t3 in this equation i can get the value of t2 
and similarly if i put the value of t4 in this equation i can get the value of t5 so the value of t2 we are getting is 85 and the value of t5 we are getting is 40 so this way we can find the temperature distribution using the finite difference method for our case so the temperature that we got was 85 70 55 and 40 so this is how the temperature distribution we have got now this was simply a one dimensional problem we have tried this for sake of understanding the fdm method but the fdm method can also be applied to two dimensional problems or one dimensional unsteady state problems now that is it in this topic in this topic we have tried to understand the fdm method and we have tried to apply the same to a given problem to find the temperature distribution thank you for watching this video Please stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.